Morning guys. I wasn't intending to make this video, but it just struck me subconsciously. Something is, uh, strange has happened over the last seven days, six or seven days. And that is that my new beta watch of choice has finally changed. This is controversial. This is, um, some people might find it quite shocking. Um, but now when I get up and want to just throw on a comfortable watch that I know will do everything I need it to with no drama, I will now choose this Rangeman. For years, this Mudman has been that beta watch. Um, over 10 years, I believe now, I've used this watch. It's never let me down. It looks fantastic, looks good as new. And I still do love this watch. However, there's something about this Rangeman that there's probably three elements about this Rangeman which make it my new daily drive, so to speak. One is that the buttons are ever so slightly easier to operate. And the Mudman has very um, well insulated, let's say, buttons which means that, uh, and that's purely because they don't want mud getting stuck inside and causing clogs. It's made for mud, therefore the button's designed like that. I understand that, absolutely fine. The range man <clears throat> isn't made for exactly those kind of conditions. And the ease in which the buttons select is a dream. So that's option one, why this has become my new daily drive. Option two is that the light is so easy to turn on at the front here. Option three it has a few more, reason three it has a few more functionalities that the Mudman does not have, including sunrise and sunset, which I do really, really um, find useful. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect this to happen so quickly, um, particularly because there was some indication that maybe the negative display was going to cause um, frustrations but hand on heart guys I can say not once have I been frustrated by the negative display personally so now um, it's been six days of continual use and I mean you know in the evening at night in dark places in the car um, I, I just I just haven't found an issue with is, issue with it and it just looks fantastic as well there is something very satisfying and cool about that stealth look um, so yeah as I say I wasn't intending to to make this video but it struck me I will obviously be keeping the mud man I'd never let that go I will still um, be using it for you know conditions that uh, that require such great, um, I guess, resistance to, to mud, sand, and things like that. But yeah, the range man's on the wrist all the time right now. I'm absolutely loving it. I think I'm going to have to explore more in this in this range, so to speak. Um, I'm interested in some more colours on the range man. I'm going to be looking out for some limited editions. There's a couple of ones with uh, jelly colours as well, a green with jelly, which I think is very cool. And um, and yeah, I just thought you might like to see that update. I know there's lots of people who are interested in the triple black Rangeman at the moment, wondering whether it's the right watch to get. Obviously, this is a completely personal opinion and each to their own. However, my personal experience is that uh, it hasn't been a disappointment in any way, shape or form. On the country, it's just a really comfortable, functional, easy to use, easy to operate watch, which I will be wearing in a lot more uh, adventures into the future. Thanks, guys.